Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you how to design a custom laundry cabinet along with a decorative cabinet that complements your dining room. These two pieces will not only add functionality but also style to your space. So let's jump right and start designing. For the laundry cabinet, I will be dividing it into two sections. One part will house the washer and dryer, while the other section will be dedicated to closet storage. To make it more functional, the cabinet will feature a sliding door, along for easier access and sleek modern look. To start, go to advanced tools and then closet, and then here, choose cabinet for sliding door. And then select the multi-row, and let's go ahead with this one. Just try to scale it and place it inside of your space. Let's go to 3D and see how it looks. Let's adjust a bit this closet. For the height, I will just keep it two meters. And then I will go to the overall variables and change the interval number to two. So as I said, this side will be for the washer and dryer and this one is going to be used for uh, storage. Now let's go and add an upper cabinet with doors, cabinets with hang it. And then let's just pick this one or let's just go to the floor plan and let's just try to place it. Again, just scale it. Let's go to 3D. And then from here, just make the distance from the floor two meters. The height of the cabinet is going to be 50 centimeters. And then from the overall variable, Let's just reduce the number of the interval to three. Go back to the first one and then double click until you select this body. And then let's just click here and change uh, the body type. For the left side, let's just go ahead and add the washer and dryer. Appliances washing machines okay let's just go with this one or whatever perfect the reason why i'm going to add a sliding door is because uh, this cabinet is just in front of the entrance so from an interior design point of view it's not a good idea to show directly uh, the laundry machines whenever you enter your house to add the sliding door just just select the first cabinet and then from customize, click on it and from this icon, pick sliding door. Here we can customize the truck style, the bottom of the truck style and the door. So I will just uh, keep this one the same and I will change the door. I will just go ahead and choose something uh, uh, modern and simple and clean. So maybe this one will work and just type symmetrical and click generate. Just wait a bit and yes, here it is. Door is generated or maybe I would like to go with the clean one. So let's just go ahead and change the type of the door. Okay, let's go with this one. You need to select it and then you click generate. Oh, it's a bit and here we go. For the upper cabinet, I would like to keep the doors exactly uh, the same as the kitchen. I would just go ahead, select the door and change the style. Just double click and until the door is selected, remove the handle and then from the door style. Yes, this is it. And then just pick the, the style brush, pick the door you just modified and click on the other doors. Right click, select the other doors. 
and remove the handle. And I'd like to keep uh, the same wood here. So just grab the material brush, pick this wood here and apply it on this. Yes. Now let's add a decorative cabinet here. And for this one, I'm just going to use an already built model uh, from Kuhom. Just go to public library and then furniture, storage, and choose bookcases. Okay, let's just go with this one. Go to the top view in the floor plan make the necessary adjustments. Maybe let's just scale it a bit. And again, I'm going to bring back a bit these walls. This one also, and it will be done. Let's go back to the 3D and see how it looks. Perfect. So this is it for today's tutorial. I hope it was helpful. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a customized wall decoration. And we will start with this one and also the headboard of the bed. If you are not subscribed already to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And see you in the next tutorial soon.